Jeremiah chapter 11. And the word that came to Jeremiah from the Lord, saying, Hear ye the words of this covenant. I talk about the covenant now that God made with the nation of Israel as a body. They're now the nation of Israel and the nation of Judah. A covenant that the people broke and not God. Speak unto the men of Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem. And say unto them, Thus saith the Lord God of Israel, Cursed be the man that obeyeth not the words of this covenant. That's not today. The man did not adhere to what God told the children of Israel, the law. He was cursed. And if you try to put somebody under the law and they fail under the law, you're cursed. Christ came to redeem us from the law, being made a curse. Which I command your fathers in the day that I brought them forth out of the land of Egypt. Exodus 19 and 20. From the iron furnace. That's the description God gives about Egypt. Iron furnace. Shadrach, Meshach, and Indigo are thrown into a furnace. Saying, Obey my voice and do them. That's the work. That's a salvation by work. That's not today. According to all that which I command you, so shall ye be my people, and I will be your God if you do what I tell you to do. That I may perform the oath which I have sworn unto your fathers, to give them the land flowing with milk and honey, that's the promised land, as it is this day. Then answered I. And said so be it O Lord. Jeremiah answered the Lord. So be it. So be it means amen. Jeremiah says if they don't obey the law. They're cursed. Jeremiah says amen. Then the Lord said unto me, Proclaim all these words in the cities of Judah, in the streets of Jerusalem, saying, Hear ye the words of, the co of this covenant, and do them works. Works, 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 works. We are not in the church age. For I earnestly protested unto your fathers in the day that I brought them up out of Egypt, land of Egypt, even this day, rising early and protesting, saying, Obey my voice. That was on Mount Sinai. That's the law that Moses wrote. Yet they obeyed not, nor inclined their ear. They wouldn't even listen. But walked everyone in the imagination of their heart, their evil heart. They did what pleased them and not what pleased God. That's Christians today, that's churches today, that's America today, that's the world. We don't care what God has to say. Therefore I will bring upon them all the words of this covenant. And there were curses in the law. For not obeying. And I commanded them to do works. 
But they did them not. Rebellion. Then the Lord said unto me, A conspiracy is found among the men of Judah, among the inhabitants of Jerusalem. They are turned back to the iniquities of their forefathers. God. Rebellion. Which refused to hear my words. That's the church today. That's men. They went after other gods to serve them. The house of Israel and the house of Judah have broken my covenant, which I made with their fathers. Not God broke it. God didn't do anything wrong. Therefore thus saith the Lord. Behold I will bring evil upon them. Which they shall not be able to escape. They shall not be able to escape. Though they shall cry unto me. I will not hearken unto them. Again, we're in that trouble. And you call unto God and God says, I don't care. You've been rebelling against me. You haven't been listening to me. You got other gods. That's the whole story of Judges. The book of Judges. We're going to do whatever we want to do. Oh, we're in trouble. God help us. And God relieves them. God helps them. God delivers them. And then they go right back. Then shall the city of Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem go and cry unto the gods unto whom they offer incense. But they shall not save them. The God shall not save them at all in their time of their trouble. We'll see their trouble in 14. There's a time coming called Jacob's trouble. That's the tribulation period. How do you know the tribulation period ain't for the church? Because it doesn't say the church is trouble. For according to the number of thy cities were there where there are gods, O Judah. And there's an estimate between, I can't read my writing, between 300 to 400 cities in Judah, in the book of Joshua. That's a lot of gods. The nation of India has more. All the gods of the world are a lot more. I wonder how many gods there are in the gods of America. When this nation says, in God we trust, which one? One nation under God, which one? You don't mean that God is not allowed in your school. Why would that God bless America if he's not allowed in your public schools? O Judah, and according to the number of the streets of Jerusalem, a lot of streets, have I have ye set up altars to that shameful thing, even altars to burn incense unto Baal. As all the cities there are gods, and all the streets in Jerusalem, there are altars dedicated to Baal. And yet in America, primary cities, you'll drive down any street and there's a church building, assembly hall, whatever they call their religious building. And many inside those buildings, churches, particularly of the Baptists, we have an altar call.
And you can't find altar in the New Testament. And I know, you, know, you can't find the word rapture, but it's there. You can't find the word trinity, but it's there. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. The moment when, when the dead in Christ shall rise, and those that are reminded, it's there. Show me a place where Peter, James, John, and Jesus said, All right, everyone come forward, all eyes closed, and I, I see that hand. Now we're going to play just as I am, and everybody come to the altar. Where is that? And I can tell you right now, there are several places where Paul himself met on the seaside, on the sand, and knelt down with the people and prayed. And you got fruity tooty luxury Christians today. We're going to meet outside. You know how many times I've mentioned in churches I've been, hey, why don't we have the services outside? It's a beautiful. Ah, it's too cold. It's too hot. But you will have your barbecues and your, your, your beach parties outside, but you, you can't serve the Lord outside. You can't find church buildings in the Bible. Church houses. And, and don't, don't give me the definition. Oh, you know, we got a church house. That, that's not the house in the Bible. Because the church houses, nobody lives in them. And the church houses in the Bible, families lived in them. You know one particular reason why the, the Baptist church won't have a house church because many of the wives won't clean the house and make the house clean when it comes to services. I tell you, we tried to start a house church in Norwich. My wife, Lisa, was faithful to make sure the house was clean and uptight when people came. Baal, that's the big guy. The big false guy. His name is also the devil, Satan, Apollo, Zeus. He's got a particular bride. I'll tell you what one of the names of his bride is. Estarte. Estar. Easter. Therefore, pray not for this. Oh boy, look at this again. Therefore, pray not for this people. That's twice God told Jeremiah, don't pray for them. Neither lift up a cry or prayer for them. For I will not hear them. The time that thou cry unto me for their trouble. Their trouble, God says, go, ahead, go cry to the gods you can worship me. Their trouble, God says, Jeremiah, don't pray for them. Jeremiah's walking the streets. And he's seeing the nonsense that God's speaking about. In the eyes of Judah, it's all perfect. It's all right. What has my beloved to do in my house? Temple. See, she has wrought lewdness. That's indulgence of lust, fornication, and adultery. With many. Not a few. And holy flesh. That's the offering that was offering at the temple. That was the animal sacrifice. It was going on back with Eli, the high priest. His sons were, were meeting the women at the door of the tent and having relationships with them. Things haven't changed. Pastors have an affair with the congregation. And the piano players. And they go off to pastor conferences and they get x-rayed uh, movies rented in their rooms. 
and they pay for it so the church nobody else can see it. That's a pastor conference. Those videos, those rented movies are just as much as adultery. Whosoever looked upon a woman and lusts after his in his heart has committed adultery with her. That's pastor. That may be your pastor going off to a pastor's conference. Maybe not. Maybe so. When thou doest evil, then thou rejoices. What a condition! And that's the condition of America, and that's the condition of the world. Rejoicing and doing evil, and the church is right behind it. How many churches have brought the Super Bowl? Went out, got big screen TV so the Super Bowl could be in their church. They do evil and then they rejoice to do evil. That's sickening. Isn't it so great? Our little children, they're going out searching for eggs. Look at all the eggs our little darlings have got. Look at all the presents the church gave to Jesus on his birthday. That's not the day he was born. Isn't that just so great? The Lord called thy name. A green olive tree. Now, Israel is likened to an olive tree. Well, the, the Holy Spirit is likened to an olive tree. Israel is likened to a vine, to a fig tree, a vineyard, fair, and of goodly fruit, pleasing to God, well cared for, with the noise of a great tumult. He has, hand, he has kindled a fire upon it, and the branches of it are broken. The burnt up olive tree, and it will be burnt up by Babylon. For the Lord of hosts that planted thee, and he did, has pronounced evil against thee. For the evil of the house of Israel and the house of Judah. So when Babylon comes, when, when the Assyrians have come, it's not vain. There's a purpose of judgment upon sin of the people. COVID-19 is a judgment upon the sin of the people. Which they have done again themselves their fault to provoke me to anger and offering incense unto Baal and what more would it be to offer praise and honor of the church to Esther and to Tamu the two gods small g-o-d-s of the Baptist churches. I don't care about the Lutherans. I don't care about the Catholic. I don't care about the Jehovah Witnesses. You know, if you look at the Jehovah Witnesses and a lot of things they refrain themselves for, they're right. And God's church is wrong. The practices of the Jehovah Witness are right. The doctrine of the Jehovah Witnesses is wrong. The doctrine of the Baptist Church is right. And the practices of the Baptist Church are wrong. Boy, they only get the two together. The Lord has given me knowledge of it. God has told me. God has shown me. Jeremiah, you didn't have to go too far, did you? Just walk down the street. 
I knew it. Then thou showed me their doings. And God told Jeremiah, you see the sins, you see the bail, you see the... Oh, yeah, man, just, just take a nice little walk down. Jeremiah has left the temple, the gate of the temple. And he's walking down the streets of Jerusalem. This is ridiculous. I bet you they had signs, all are welcome. Probably had signs, BBS. The Victory Bail Service. You know, the, the VBS, the Vacation Bible. You know, the Bible is very little in the VBS. Compared to dinner time, snack time, attendance time, uh, uh, arts and craft time, going outside, play time. The Bible has a very, very little time. But whatever you do, don't walk up to the pastor and say, Pastor, I don't like the decorations. He might throw some other stuff at you. Not as secure as all the gold in Fort Knox. But I was like a lamb, Jeremiah, or an ox that's brought to the slaughter. But it ends. And I knew not that they had devised devices against me. This is Jeremiah. This is God revealing to Jeremiah. Saying, let us destroy thee with the fruit there. Jeremiah is now learning his hometown like Jesus. They're getting ready to kill him. They're plotting to kill him. The thoughts of Jeremiah on the people of Anathoth, where Jeremiah is from, the city of the one of the city of the priests. There's one thing they want Jeremiah. They want him dead. God says, hey, look at all the gods. Oh, yeah, wow. Hey, hey, Jeremiah. Yeah. Disgusting, isn't it? Yeah, Lord. You know what they want to do with you? No. What do they want to do with me? Let us destroy the tree with the fruit thereof. Let us cut him off from the land of the living. And his name may be no more remembered. Let's kill Jeremiah. Can you imagine Jeremiah? This is God Almighty saying they want you dead. There's no lies. There's no questioning. God is always true. But O Lord of hosts, the judge rightly, righteously, that trieth the reins of the heart. Let me see thy vengeance on them. <laughs> Jeremiah says, let's, let's turn the tides. Again, we're under the law. Don't you pray this as a Christian. Somebody hates you because you're serving the Lord. You pray for them more and more and more. Jeremiah is praying against his own people of his own hometown. Probably his own family. For unto thee have I revealed my cause. Jeremiah says, and God, it's you and me. Therefore thus saith the Lord of the men of Antioch, chapter 1, verse 1. That's where Jeremiah is from. That's a city of the priests. That seek thy life. They want you dead. They're trying to get you dead. Saying, prophesy not in the name of the Lord. We don't want to hear it, Jeremiah. See the capital L, capital O, capital R. Cap we know who you're speaking for. We don't want to hear it. And I know where you're standing with the Bible. I know where you're coming from. I don't want to hear it.
going to keep my sins. I'm going to keep rebellion. I don't care what God has to say. That's shame. That thou die not by our hand. You keep on preaching, preacher, we'll kill you. Therefore thus saith the Lord of hosts. Behold, I will punish them. The young men shall die by sword, war. Their sons and their daughters shall die by famine when Babylon comes. It'll starve the nation out. There shall be no remnant of them. For I will bring evil upon the men of Antioch. Even a year of their visitation. Here's the visitation again. Now they plot against Jeremiah. God said, I'll get him. I'll take care of him. 